Cool. So I'm here today to talk about CART, which is practical geospatial data versioning. Uh, and there's a talk on a bit later, but right now I'm going to talk about the QGIS plugin for CART, which is something new we've kind of developed and released in the last year. So I have a video. You can install the QGIS plugin through the regular plugin manager, and there's a brand new release today, and you should grab it. The uh, CART plugin will help you uh, install CART itself, and then we're going to create a new repository. So CART takes in your existing data. I'm going to grab some shapefiles, and I'm going to add them to my repository. CART's going to bring them in and uh, look after that data for us and give us versioning onto it. What it does underneath is create a geo package for, for editing with. So I'm going to add two or three layers to my uh, repository. Each one's going to create a, a commit. And in a second, when it gets around to it again, videos are great, right? This was going to be a live demo, but now I've recorded it. Uh, we can have different working copy formats. So uh, CART also supports um, ProstGIS and, and some other databases for working in. So I, I drag my map layer, uh, drag my data sets into my map, just like normal uh, QGIS. And they're regular QGIS layers from this point on. So I'm um, just going to change the style a little bit. And then we're going to show you editing some data. So the first thing I'm going to see is the log. And so like uh, software projects, we have a log. We can see who changed what and when and why. Remember, this is normal QGIS data. So I can select a feature. And I can uh, zoom in. And I'm going to edit the feature. And then we're going to commit some changes. So I'm just going to use the regular feature editing tools, grab a vertex, shuffle it around. And then what we're going to do after that is look at our working copy changes. So we can see that we've made these changes and decide whether we want to persist them into our repository. So we can do this from either the, the layers we've added to the map, or we can do it from the repositories panel. And so we can see attribute changes here. In this case, I just changed the geometry. And we have some tools to enable you. It's a little bit tricky to see here, but you can see it in different contexts depending on uh, what you have. And we can use transparency to see what, what the changes were. Uh, you can do swipes and other things. So you can kind of get an idea of what changes happen. And you can review this for all the history of the repository, not just what we're changing right now. And then we're going to commit those changes and add a message, write a message, better message than me so future you knows what you actually did and why. And then we've got a bunch of other stuff that we can um, do. We can pull and push. The remotes are regular Git remotes um, and come along to the later talk, and we can learn a bit more about it. And you can also do branching. So you can switch branches, and then you can switch back again, and you can merge things together. And you can do all that from inside QGIS. You don't have to go out to the console and use cart. And we're bringing plugins to other platforms as well, but this talk was about QGIS. So if you want to learn more, come along to room 9 at 5.15. And um, we can explain a bit more about CART and where it's going and how it works. Thank you. <laughs>